Hi beautiful guys and gals, Taylor here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Pokemon Legends Arceus. Uh, last time uh, we continued to catch some more new Pokemon and we uh, battled some new Pokemon. And uh, we also uh, learned that we have a brand new mission from Commander, uh, Commander Komodo. So anyway, this time we are going to go off on that mission and see what it is. Uh, well, you knew uh, from last episode, we have to explore the Cobalt Coastlands, and I had to raise my character up to third rank. But, as you can see, uh, I actually went off ahead and did a research task to get up to that rank. And I also, I also have something else I have to show you. Uh, uh, I have found my fifth permanent uh, team member, uh, Bakugo the Ralts. And while I was uh, training... Uh, all my Pokemon, uh, uh, he's actually ready to evolve, but I don't exactly want to <coughs> evolve him yet because I want to get at least one battle in with him. So I will return to the village. All right, we need to go, uh, to the captain and, uh, get our rank of third star and then explore the cobalt coastlands oh i don't know if you guys could tell but uh i actually visited the hairdresser that's across from there and uh i got a new hair color and it actually looks like my hair so all right yes have you made progress on your research tasks if you have progress to report, I will judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokédex. Hmm, you have made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. With this, you have officially attained the rank of third star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. You can now use Great Balls. Up to Pokemon up to level 40 will also obey your orders reliably in battle. The rewards you earn for your survey reports will be more generous now, too. Have this as well. It is a further recipe you'll need for crafting. Ah, crafting Great Balls. Yeah, we're going to need that. Continue to dedicate yourself to completing the Pokedex if you hope to raise higher in the ranks. With your current rank, you should be capable of braving the Cobalt Coastlands. You know your mission. Investigate Fire Pit Island. Away we go. Ah, if it isn't Taylor. Oh, you. Um, uh, uh, Leon, uh, I remember where you're from. I just forgot what uh, fre uh, frenzy the uh, Lord we quelled when, when you were present. Though I suppose it's to be expected that I'd run into you in the village. Where are you going to study Pokemon next? The Cobalt Coastlands. Oh, the Cobalt Coastlands? Paulina is certainly a bit of the situation over there. She's a warden, and yet she has no noble to see to. There are even some people in the Pearl Clan that speak ill of her, though not to her face. Oh, but do forgive me. Perhaps I should be airing dirty laundry. A piece of advice, then, as an apology for wasting your time. Some Pokémon are strongly affected by certain stones, which hold mysterious power. With the right stone, you can evolve even some Pokémon. You need look no further than clever for proof of that. What I'm trying to say is basically this. If you and the Survey Corps want to learn all there is to know about the Pokemon of this region, then the stones you find throughout Hisui will be very important. There's even a tale of a stone that contains the power of creation, the very same power Almighty Sinnoh used to create the universe. I trust you'll take my advice to heart and not underestimate how important stones can be. To help grind this fact into you, here, I'll give you some rather handy stones and things I found. 
two grit pebbles. Interesting. Three sacks of grit gravel. And should you want some stones that could help Pokemon evolve, I believe the Ginglo Guild has them from time to time. Yes, I do remember. Okay, so... Pokeballs. Dang. I thought that you had them, but hmm, guess not. Sell some stuff. Okay, thank you. All right, well, let's continue uh, and go to the Cobalt Coastlands. Yep, thank you. Oh, all the way out here, huh? What's this new location going to look like? Wow, that is pretty. Well, here we are in the Cobalt Coastlands. That is gorgeous. <laughs> Even my character is shocked. Ah, the Cobalt Coastlands, a simply lovely corner of Asui. Sea and sky as far as the eye can see. What kinds of Pokemon await us here, I wonder? Water types or flying types, perhaps? I simply can't wait to study them all. Now, I'm sure you're just as excited as I am to research this area's Pokemon, but let's not forget that you have a mission to accomplish. So, any questions before you get started? About Fire Pit Island. Hmm, indeed. Fire Pit Island is an offshore volcano. You'll need to cross the sea to reach it. I advise you speak to a fellow called Icecan. He's one of the Diamond Clan's wardens and will surely help you find your way. Okay, then. Wow. Well, before I go me with uh, Ira Irita over there, I want to do some crafting. What a pretty tune. I do love the flute. It feels as if its tones carry to the very ends of space. But I am here, and so are you. So now I'm going to focus everything I have on battling you? I'm game. Sure, it'll give you a test to trade Bakugo. Very good. You, you who have seen the vast space beyond the rift, here I come. Hmm. A Glaceon, huh? And an Eevee? Ew. That took a good chunk of health. Ouch. Ow. 
Well, this was a freaking mistake. You want me that way, huh? Fine. I didn't want to bring out the big guns, but it looks like I have no freaking choice. Oh. Oh. What's... I keep pressing the wrong buttons. There, got half your health down, which is great. Ouch! Mm -hmm. ah, I barely even got frostbit. I hope that doesn't mean you're frozen. joking. Well, it was just enough. But what price did it come at, anyway? Ah, now I feel better. The world is vast, and I am small within it. Thank you. Allow me to heal your Pokemon. Thanks. All right. With you, I think I could be frank. I can't afford to look weak in front of the Diamond Clan's leader or your commander, but in truth, I sometimes wonder how I've ended up with the burdens I bear. You see, we have a warden in the coastlands, a lovely woman named Paulina. But she tends no lord or lady, and she will not raise a successor to fill the late lord's empty seat either. Some people have started to question her worthiness to be a warden at all. But Lena, that is to say, Paulina, she's very dear to me, no matter what anyone might say. We were both in the running to become leader of the Pearl Clan. We strove to surpass one another, but... She taught me a great deal, too. Having said all this, I have a favor to ask of you. Please help her raise the Pokemon she looks after into a true heir to his father, the late Lord. With the help of your strength, I think our late Lord's heir would grow into a worthy successor. And if he succeeds, it should silence Lena's naysayers. I don't know of anyone I trust more to help with than, this, than the person who helped the Pearl Clan by quelling Clever's frenzy. You'll be able to find Lena up on the headland. Head down this hill and turn left. You should find a slope leading up onto the ridge. All right, well, poor Bakugo, uh, fainting on his very first battle, but since I battle with him, let's evolve him now. All right, Bakugo has evolved into Curlia. Oh, he already got a chance to catch a new Pokemon. we go we got it uh our first new pokemon glam meow of the of this area i wonder what else we can find oh well just a bunch of starly not what i'm looking for let's go on to the beach Oh, I see something new up ahead. I gotta be quiet. Mm -hmm. 
Pokemon. All right, we got another new Pokemon. Spiel. Spiel. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Spiel kind of reminds me of a... Uh, how can I say this? Uh... Spiel was one of the Pokemon that appeared in one of my earlier playthroughs. If you guys remember, it was uh, Poke Park Pikachu's Adventure. Aw, oh, man, that brings back memories. Thank you. So head down this hill and head to the left. You mean down here? Oh, there's another new Pokemon. I want to save my Grape Balls, so let's continue using Pokeballs for now. We got another new Pokemon, Skorupi. Uh, Skorupi was an okay Pokemon, in my opinion. Man, I'm running into new Pokemon left to... without even trying. Oh, shit. No, go away! Go away! I love that expression my character made just now. <gasps> oh, well, we've already got a beautifly. Oh, come on. Standing there. I was gonna say, Midoriya, what are you doing? Gotcha. All right, another new Pokemon caught, Motham. Boy. Oh, uh, looks like uh, Levi has learned a new move. Uh, let's see what it is. A fire blast? This early? Yeah, we're definitely getting rid of Ember for that. How the hang can it... Okay, better than double hit. I never got any healing, any... Oh, 
Hi, Midoriya. <laughs> Excuse me. I didn't realize it was night time. Got it. Ugh. Damn. I gotta get more healing items. Gotcha. Uh. Alright, another new Pokemon caught. Dustox. Oh, and it looks like Bakugo learned a new move. Oops. Uh, let's see what it is. 
calm mind. No thanks. We better give poor Todoroki a rest. He is taking too much of a beating. Hush now, settle down. I'm Paulina of the Pearl Clan, and my who might you be? Oh, so you're that child from the Galaxy Team. I heard how you aided Clever and Lilligan when none other could quell their frenzy. Your strength must be amazing, and yet you have such a gentle face. So what brings you to the Cobalt Coastlands? We have no lord here, much less a frenzied one for you to quell. Our previous lord was swallowed by the waves. He was rescuing his young pup that had been swept out to sea and ended up giving his life to ensure the pup's safe return. If you were to guess, so which of these growlith would you say is the precious lord's child? The small one? Oh, you have quite a good eye. This quiet skittish growlith is the child of the previous lord. I have no doubt this little one has the potential to be a fine lord, but witnessing his father's demise has left deep scars in his heart. There are those who accept V to train him more strictly and force lordship upon him before he is ready, but I could never bring myself to do that. No matter what the rest of the Pearl Clan says, my mind is quite made up. I'll stay by this little one's side and let him live his life as he wishes. So now that you know our situation, might I ask your purpose in coming to the coastlands? I'm here to help the heir. Ah, did Irita ask you to intervene, perhaps? I appreciate the kind gesture, but I'm afraid this matter simply does not concern you. So, now that you know our situation, might I ask your purpose in coming to the coastlands? I make for Fire Pit Island. A survey of Fire Pit Island? I see. There are rumors the place is haunted by strange shadows these days. You'll need the aid of a Pokemon known as Basque Legion if you wish to cross the sea. You should speak to Ice Can, a warden of the Diamond Clan. He should be able to help you. There is definitely something strange happening out on Fire Pit Island. Those shadowy figures are concerning, of course, but then there's also the odd lightning that came from the rift of the sky. Lightning is a sign that the heavens are angry. I worry we may have offended Almighty Sinnoh somehow. In the past, the Pearl Clan and Diamond Clan were locked in conflict over which side revered the true Almighty Sinnoh. Even if we've reached an uneasy peace, the true Almighty Sinnoh must be angered because there are still those who worship a false image of it. Ah, uh, but I digress. I do apologize. Iceken lives on Apom Hill, just past Ginkgo Landing. I imagine you'll find him there. Oh. Your party Pokemon rested and are all happy and healthy again. That's great. There. Got some more.
you can't eat palm. Nice. Hey, I know that face. It's Volo. Why, hello there, Miss Taylor. Fancy running into you out here. Me? Oh, I'm on the hunt for some plates. How's your plate go hunting going, my friend? So-so, I guess. No need to be humble. I see you've already got your hands on four plates. You gain plates when you quell frenzied nobles. And what a great... And when a great Pokemon recognizes you, it's worthy of bearing, isn't that right? The way you've been collecting those plates, it reminds me of the ancient hero. The one that's said to have battled against Almighty Sinnoh. You know, I've been wondering. The ten Pokemon that are said to have followed the ancient hero, their powers are supposed to have come from Almighty Sinnoh itself. Why would they seek to challenge Almighty Sinnoh along with the hero, then? Perhaps we'll get some answers once we gather all the plates. Well, let's both do our best to find more. But please, don't overexert yourself. I'd hate for something to happen to one of our guild's loyal customers. Bye. Oh, whoa! Uh, hello there. Gotcha. Well, uh, I wasn't expecting to <laughs> find a new Pokemon in a tree. Do, do I have a visitor? I'll be right out. Give me a moment. Hello. So, um, I'm Iskan of the Diamond Clan, a Galaxy team member with a Celestia flute. Uh, oh, you must be Taylor, right? Have I done something to warrant your visit? Yes. Well, sudden visits give me quite a shock. I do hope you'll give me an advance notice in the future. So, um, why are you here? To visit Fire Pet Island. So, you, you want to go to Fire Pit Island? Well, if you insist, then you'll probably need Basque Legion's favorite snack. That should help him warm up to you. But preparing his favorite... Oh, it's um more than a little difficult. More like an impossibly high hurdle, or really just impossible, if I'm being honest. How so? I'll tell you. I have the right materials, but... But then you, well, you see, this next part is something I could never manage, but you need to catch this one Pokemon that appears at night. Go on. You really want to know? You, you really don't value your own life, do you? It's d d dust, Dustclops. Oh, he even saying its name fills me with dread. Dustclops, huh? So, the materials for the food have to be imbued with the flavor by Dustclop's Dark Pulse. That's the only way you can make Basquelegia's favorite food, you see. Got it. I'll catch it. Wow, is everyone in the Galaxy team like you? Your nerves aren't just steel, they're titanium. It's positively frightening how um, fearless you are. Dust, I can't say it. Well, the Pokemon I need has only one eye and can be found wandering around dead wood. Oh, I uh, Deadwood Haunt is the area that looks like a he a hand on your map. You'll know you're there when you find the wrecked boats. I try very hard to avoid those one-eyed Pokemon, and so now I know a lot about them, you see. 
would you would you like to wait here until night when the Pokemon appears? Yeah, I'll wait. I've got nothing else to do. Well then. All right. So I've got to find a Thusclops, huh? Ooh, good thing I slid. Oh, Jesus. Yes. Let's get out of here. Whew. Excuse me. Sorry, guys. Excuse me. Have you seen a fellow form of the construction corpse named You're Rich? No, I haven't. God, this is hopeless. Where could he have gone? Would you mind helping me track him down? I'll be waiting a little further ahead. Please come see me when you have a moment. Oh, looks like, well, we could set up another camp, but... Ugh, excuse me. Where could these suckers be? Oh, I thought I was gonna drown. That was close. What spotted me? Okay. I know that's not the Pokemon we're looking for. Ah, there it is. Okay. Okay. Got to be very careful. Well, there goes that idea. Dude! Seriously! Oh, 
All right. I hope I'm not making a mystical fire. Fire is not doing much. Okay, I better stop attacking it now. There, caught the sucker. But at what cost? Losing my own... Ugh, man. Losing three of my teammates all at once? Let's get out of here. God. Dust bops. Use its dark pulse. Oh, jeez. Could you get a grip? Use dark pulse. Ah. 
Ah, Bath Galicia's favorite stack is now ready. Both the aroma and shape are perfect. It's the perfect ball of Basque Legion food. Then let us make for a Gingo Landing. We can summon Basque Legion there. All right, guys. Well, I'm ending this episode off here. In the next episode, we will call upon Basque Legion and head to Fire Pit Island. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!